Hi, my name is Delaney. Um, I'm here to show you guys my stockpile. Um, I have been couponing since June of 21. So almost here. It's the end of April of 22. And I really enjoy it. I started doing it because it just seemed like a smart way to save money. You know, everything was going up in prices then. So, you know, obviously any way to save money would, would be beneficial for my family. Um, it really started out with just couponing, not necessarily couponing, but preparing with extra food. So I wanted to have extra food on hand for my family in case of an emergency, in case we couldn't get things, you know, after COVID, we couldn't even find toilet paper. And now it's taken me a year <laughs> to get this much toilet paper. <laughs> and so, yeah, if you guys like these types of videos, maybe I can show you how to coupon. I'm not an expert. I'm not claiming to be. I just really enjoy getting deals and having an extra supply for me, for my extended family, you know, my parents, my husband's parents, my sisters, you know, siblings, stuff like that, my neighbors, just anything. And, you know, if someone comes over and they're like, oh, I need to get laundry detergent. I'm like, hey, I've got some. What's your favorite brand? If they tell me they like a specific brand, I'll make sure to coupon that. Um, so, yeah, let's tour my basement. So starting off, this is just some extra toilet paper and paper towels and tissues. Um, I prefer the Kirkland's brand um, the, that you get from Costco. So I've got a healthy supply of that. I think that's like one and a half packs that I just stuck down there. And um, other than that, I just got these Walmart ones to have extras because, you know, usually I'll coupon Scott because it's the cheapest. The Viva was a good deal recently. So I have some of that. But I'm not a huge fan. They're not as thick and as good as the Kirkland brand paper towels, which you can see I don't have any more of because I've used so many. Um, but yeah, I've got a healthy supply of toilet paper in case of emergency. Scott, Cottonelle, Scott, Angel Soft, Charmin, and then some Kleenexes, some Puffs, type brand tissues, um, some napkins, and some paper towels and then you come over here and this is the bulk of my stockpile this is all of it um i have diapers and wipes upstairs that i use for my kids i just keep that in their rooms readily available and then i have a healthy supply of tide that i keep above my washer and dryer because i that's my favorite and um, any extras that i won't use yeah i'm not a huge fan of the pods um i prefer the the liquid um i'll just keep down there for people to grab so Starting here is this is all like shampoo, hair type, conditioner stuff, some baby lotion. Um, this is the only native I have. We have some head and shoulders, some suave, um, some baby shampoo and lotion, Dove. There's some Pantene back here, some more Pantene, lots of Elvive, some Aussie, um, Garnier Fructis hair masks, some... Um, hairspray, things like that. And then moving below, we have our Tresemme, Herbal Essence, and Beauty and Planet. And then some hair dyes, hand soap, soft soap, and Dove is my preferred um, hand soap. Some Suave for men, Irish Spring for men. This is body wash. Um, and then, I guess if we stick with the body wash, we have Bar Soap for Irish Spring, Dove, Dove Women's, Olay, Soft Soap, Dial. And then continuing down this shelf, we have um, Fabric Softeners and some Sun Beads, um, some Gain, Persil, and Purex. Um, my family all loves the Gain, so I don't really keep a lot of it. And... I don't use a lot of fabric softener. I will use a lot of scent beads, so I don't have a lot of those. Just because laundry is still so expensive, and if I won't get through all this, I'm not going to keep buying it unless it's like an amazing deal, right? So then below that is all the feminine care, some all. You know, I still have these packs. Like months ago, there was like a deal at Dollar General, and you got them for a penny, and I still haven't used them because I just don't go through them that often 
And then there's lots of razors in this bin. And then this is all of the um, shaving cream I have. One Lysol left. I have some little bottles of dish soap, big ones, and then wipes. And then moving on, there's the body soap that we already went over. And this is all my, this is all cream or face cream or lotion. This is all face washes. I have some Cetaphil, L'Oreal, Olay, Aveeno. I have a random Bath and Body Works. And then lots of Axe sprays here. Um, this is men's deodorant, Suave, Dove, Speed Stick. There's Degree and Rygard. And then I'm almost out of Dove deodorant for women or any type of deodorant for women. I've been giving so much away. And then um, here's mouthwash and here's toothpaste. I just had a garage sale where I gave, so I probably gave away a hundred boxes of toothpaste just cause we get it free so often. So, you know, and it's not worth it if I'm not gonna go through it. I won't even make it through this box probably within the next year um, or before it expires. So I just, it's better to just give it away or donate it, which is what I tend to do. Arm and Hammer. I only have one left. I'm currently using two at, you know, Walgreens not long ago. There was like a buy one, get two free for seven bucks. So I did that and I have never tried it and I really like it. So far the purple, like, colored cap is my favorite scent and it seems to like clean it the best. Some extra Tide. This is like the Tide Simply, the Free and Clear. I'll usually get these like Free and Clear of the Tide or the All to donate to like nursery shelters or you know somewhere where there's babies so that they can use it and you know wash baby's clothes or crib sheets and stuff so they can um you know won't be irritated by their skin i just recently got these for like 20 cents i'm not kidding like three days ago at walgreens they were on sale for 20 cents so i just grabbed some of them you know more so in case there needs to be you know there's a donation that i want to give give away to that's what i'll do and then here, I just have this little, <laughs> this random space between the shelves that I made to hold. Like, this is toothbrushes, floss, stuff like that. These flossers. Um, so I'll keep them in just this because I don't have a pegboard or anything like some couponers do. I just don't really have the space and I don't have enough product to hang up. I mean, it would obviously look the nicest, but... Um, then I have these Clorox, like, replacements for washing the toilet that I got from Costco. <laughs> light bulbs. More light bulbs. Some baggies that are just shoved in there. Um, dusters and trash bags. That's just more so, like, my overflow of things that I don't typically coupon for. Or if they're, like, on sale at Costco, I'll grab. Because trash bags are still expensive no matter what you do. So I just go for the, um, Great Value brand. They smell good. They're... A good price and they are pretty strong I guess um I guess we'll just start here some some down here this is a bucket of just all sorts of things I recently have got so many CRTs at CVS for L'Oreal products facial products so I've been getting a lot of those lots of face wipes number seven products like this for your face um random shampoos body soaps like this like bars of soap um nail clippers um face razors things like this i just keep in this bucket um i gave a lot of this stuff away like i had so many face wipes that i knew i was not going to get through that i um gave away at the garage sale as well and then here's just a random stack of hallmark things that i've also seen um couponed at cbs i just keep here i have a whole bag of like gift bags and stuff so this probably should go there but they didn't and then this was at Walgreens not long ago for free and doesn't really go with anything else this is just a bucket of makeup um I just I don't have really a space for this and I'm not going to use all of it so like my family will come down and, and grab some if they need something um and then this is like my little off limit shelf for my um when my family does come down here I love these Febreze small spaces Besides, like, the Airwick plugins that I keep upstairs, too, <laughs> for nobody to take. Um, I just make sure, hey, if there's anything on the shelf, don't take. So I've just been saving some of this stuff. Like, these are my favorite wipes, favorite bronzer, some stuff for my husband in case he wants it. 
um, my favorite deodorant, my favorite hand soap, and a head and shoulders for my family, my husband, so that, you know, my other family, my extended family doesn't take it before we can, you know, snatch it up. You know, that might sound silly, but, you know, everything down here is up for grabs for my family. If they need it, take it, you know, if they don't, take an extra just in case, you know, you'll need it and you don't want to run out and be at home and need body wash or deodorant and you're like, oh shoot, no, I'm either going to smell or I have to run to the store. You know, I'd rather them just take it. So I just set this stuff aside so in case we ever need it and there's none because my family took it, then I have some, you know. Anyways, then this would be my last shelf of the stockpile. I have um, just some random um, dishwasher pods, a giant thing of Lysol that my mom gave me. Um, to like refill my cleaner upstairs, which I also have been using this that I couponed at Walgreens not long ago also. And it, you just fill the bottle up with water, stick one of these in there, and it like saves the plastic instead of going through a container of these, you know, like a spray bottle every time, which I seem to enjoy so far. I have a couple upstairs just in case I run out. So once that's gone, then I'll dig into this Lysol. Um, I have a couple Febreze left over. Some microband bath cleaner and multi-purpose cleaner. Some penaline, I'm pretty sure is how you say it. <laughs> so those were free from Dollar General not long ago. Some Dawn Power Wash. And that's that. So this is my couponing stockpile. Um, I, <laughs> I love it. I think it's the perfect amount for me to have. You know, I've, like I said, been doing this over almost a year. And... It has served me and my family well, my extended family well. Um, I've never had this big of a paper supply, so I'm happy with it. You know, in case we ever get shoved into quarantine again and we run out or something, people start panic buying. I will be set. My family will be set. My sisters, my parents, stuff like that. You know, we won't have to go without. Um, another way I've been preparing for something like that or just having extras in case is by having this shelf of food, which we've also been picking from, you know, a year ago. Like I said, I started getting all this together in case of an emergency. Uh, mostly canned goods because they seem to never expire. Extra water, um, other things like that. And we've just been eating on it and we'll rotate food. Like I saw there was a pasta shortage, so I grabbed a couple extra boxes. You know, and this has been, I mean, these probably expired. This is from Aldi, I think. And this expires still in two years. I have two years to eat it. This expires two in one year, so I gotta make sure to eat that first. Um, and then up there, I have like other things I've couponed, like these thermometers. These are seventy dollar thermometers. I got two of them for free just by looking for a sale and finding it. A um, bunch of this pain relief. You can get these at Walgreens often for like two for twenty four cents. Other baby medicine in there, you know, like baby Tylenol, batteries, plastic bags. I just grabbed some, like, we have oil lamps upstairs that I mostly use for decor, but in case there was ever a power outage, I have some oil, I have some extra wicks. You know, if we ever had to do that, random flashlights, some roll aids, candles. Um, I'm not sure what else is back there. Things like that, matches, um, a random lantern that should be up there but I don't <laughs> I haven't organized or cleaned this but if you guys want to know more about that let me know um so yeah so that is my couponing stockpile tour I guess um I don't want to say that I'm like an extreme couponer because I don't I don't go and clear out shelves stuff like that I grab one maybe two of these items a week you know maybe a toilet paper once a month you know, if we go through it, and my philosophy is I want to have three months of a supply on hand. So if I know we go through a roll of toilet paper a day, I will grab, you know, I know I need 30 rolls of toilet paper for a month. So I'll have 30 rolls, wait, 30 times 3, 90 rolls of toilet paper available for me and my family. Um, same goes with diapers. I have a healthy supply. I have two kids in diapers still. I only have two kids, but both are still in diapers. And so I try to keep healthy stock of that healthy stock of wipes, um, cause you just, some days they go through them, some days, you know, we might not use as many, but rather be prepared. Um, yeah, but if you guys want like a further in-depth tour of my 
food situation and how I do that. Um, let me know. I recently found a cool way to be able to coupon food or, um, you know, get some money back for food. And it's through a cool app called Zardi. Um, it's new. I've only used it once. But I shop at Walmart anyways. And most of their great value brand, as you can tell. Because it's the cheapest. And it's still about the same. Excuse the giant cobweb in my videos. But this is my first video. A little bit nervous. Just wanted to share my journey with you guys and how I do it and how I'm preparing for my family so hopefully you guys can too you know and maybe I, I've watched so many people on YouTube on how they do it and I would love to to learn more and continue learning and doing this together you know making it through together to support our families and the people we love um I'm just rambling now but thanks for watching see you guys later <laughs>